Your pet is one of a kind, and so is their journey. While every playful moment is a memory in the making, sometimes our cats and dogs are a little too good at getting into trouble. That's why you should check out ASPCA Pet Health Insurance. To explore coverage, visit ASPCAPetInsurance.com slash foo, F-O-O-L. That's ASPCAPetInsurance.com slash foo. This is a paid advertisement insurance. It is underwritten by either independent... This is a paid advertisement insurance. It is underwritten by either Independence American Insurance Company or United States Fire Insurance Company and produced by PTZ Insurance Agency Limited. The ASPCA is not an insurer and is not engaged in the business of insurance. You hear me? (laughs) What's up, fool? What's up, fool podcast? What's up, everybody? We got Jack Jr. right here. Yeah, in the house. Jack Jr. right here, man. The Valley, North Valley. That's his real hair, by the way. No no trying to say, like, he put it on for the show. Sexy. Little mushroom top, huh? Little mushroom top, Little man. puffy. And the Oppenheimer, dude. We have um, Rizzo <laughs> and Rodrigo right here from the Mystery Machine. <laughs> the Mystery Machine. <laughs> when those no chase. Soinks. They've been solving immigration cases and shit. <laughs> By the dozen. We have 40 cases right now. They're open. Mm-hmm. They're open, man. Aquino Mas, what's up, dude? Sad because of the 99 cent store. <laughs> <laughs> that was her go-to spot, huh? It was, dude. Every day I was there. Stealing. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey. hey. Kind of. Nobody went to a 9 is store and bought one thing, huh? Nah, you live with like a shopping cart full of stuff. Yeah. At least a little. Which one you used to go to? I went to a couple, man. I went to the one by my house in Norwalk. I went to Alhambra. El Sereno right there. Lincoln Heights when I lived there right there. And also at Montebello. So, yeah. Good stores, man. Like you find, you actually find like good stuff there, like brand name stuff, stuff that the big stores couldn't sell, and they sell it there after. When you find those those uh, chips, you never heard of, man. Chips, like, <laughs> like fucking carne asada lace, <laughs> <laughs> or the shrimp flavor, roast yeah. beef flavored Doritos, the, flavor. or the wrapper chips. <laughs> One time I found a good deal though. I found like a big old fucking box of famous Amos, but I had to finish it in a week before it expired. Like. But most of like the challenge tooth- accepted, bro. The toothpaste there is like expired, right? It's from like 2022. Dude, the Magic Johnson condoms are terrible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude. Got the herpes. Dude. There was a lot of baby oil there. A oh. lot of, yeah. <laughs> they have produce too, right? Like yeah, bananas yeah, and yeah. stuff? Yeah, on Wednesdays, bro. You got to get there early. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not messing with you. Like, last time I went there, I was like, wow. It was good. They have the good stuff there. I took, the, took them that one time. You were surprised. I was really surprised because I paid like for a car holder for a cell phone. I paid like 50 bucks at the Apple store. And that thing broke and it wouldn't it wouldn't always hold up the phone. He took me over there. I bought one for three bucks. It works till this day. Right. Till this day. 99 cents store. Yeah, dog. Three bucks. Yeah. Oh, Bro, yeah. It wasn't 99 cents. But yeah. yeah man. It's three for 99. Bad advertising. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be bought by the five and under store. Swallowed up. Yeah, it's like five below. Like five below is kind of like the little. Who's that? Who else is their competition? Dollar General? What else? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree, damn! Yeah. I forgot about that yeah, one. I thought Dollar Tree was a place to borrow money. <laughs> <laughs> no, fool. Like a low. There's another one though, right? Uh, there's a there's that's, a whole bunch of other. There's even a Spanish one now. There's yeah. Dollar Zone, but that's like with the with the Joker in the in the front. La Curacao's gonna buy it. <laughs> oh, bro. That's like the credit store from the past, right there. I still want money to. Go. I still want money, bro. Do you want money to Curacao? Yeah, dude. No way. Panorama City Mall. No, not that one, dude. Uh, the Hunting one in Park? Southgate, bro. So when I used to sell cell phones in a mall, remember when I used to sell cell phones yeah. in a mall? I used to tell Paisas, hey, vete la corazón, te da un seguro, ahí está. And then they would come back, ay, mira, te califique. Dude, I read Felipe's credit one time. This fool had eight identities. <laughs> <laughs> and he would come up to me and say, hey, fool, check my credit. <laughs> like, he was like a game to him. <laughs> He goes, I don't know. He goes, I don't know none of those fools. <laughs> I'm like, believe it. Who's all these? Like, he had so many people. Like, there was like identity theft after identity theft. Like, it was crazy. I have a rare name that people like to use day two. <laughs> <laughs> That's a community name right there, huh? But how does it happen? Because your family members, like, let me use this one today or like. Bro, but they oh, weren't huh? even Esparza. The they were just different people. There was like eight different accounts under his social. Yeah. How man. does that happen? Damn. Yeah. Whoa. Back in the day, <laughs> Not anymore. we had a. We had like, we needed a phone, and Martin Moreno opened up like, uh, uh, his mom had an account that could open up a lot of lines, so we were all on her, on her line, bro. That's hilarious. Uh-huh. Me and I think three other comedians 
we would have to meet him up every meet up with him every month or give him a gig. Sounds like and a network. Then pay him. <laughs> Sounds like a Gondina homie. <laughs> like we were on her line for many years. She didn't even and know. back then that wasn't like unlimited talk. It was like four hundred fifty minutes. The whole Martin had that joke singular. <laughs> yeah, man. Nights and weekends. <laughs> Nights and weekends. And you were you were running to like like, I guess when you're like work when you're actually working as a comedian, you know, and. You're trying to make videos, and you're out there in Hollywood, or trying to get spots at the world famous Ha Ha or the Laugh Factory, the main clubs. <laughs> you know the main clubs. Yeah. You know the ones that are like the, the ones in the valley, like the Ha Ha. The ones that are where you could just, you know, you you don't gotta go to like, like Riverside is far, right? To yeah. do a, a spot, but um, some of the people just stay over there, huh? In that yeah. area. Like the people that perform at Liam's, that club. You mean like comedians that Riverside. just stay like in like uh like in those areas like in the that never leave never, that never go to Hollywood. There's no the Inland there. Empire. People they're, don't graduate. They just they don't know they shit stay up, there. They don't shit. No, they like they li- they live in like the island of this figure toys, but for comics. <laughs> <laughs> the Mr. Toys, dude. It, like they've been doing comedy for like twenty years, but there's two other same both in their line. Yeah, yeah. It's like Bradley. Who is it? Uh, that I, 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 the girl said the same, but I, uh, I get older. That's William Barcena. Matthew bro. McConaughey. Yeah, yeah. Girls like, turn eighteen every day, dog. Yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was, that was the same so, comic, so dog. creepy. Uh-huh. I show him the girls, game, bro. Girls, turn, who says that? There's V stick there, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, uh, okay. no. I thought he said it. I'm like, what? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> when he said it, it was kind of creepy. <laughs> Ping pong. But it was funny because he was saying that I used to work at Cell Phone Two before, and I remember uh, I used to work in uh, San Anita Mall. And this one, la- this one like gypsy lady uh, used to like always hang out. And one time when you ran her credit. And then uh, she told us she was like a, a fortune teller. And then like she was mad because she had bad credit. We couldn't sell her phone. I'm like, how did you not see that coming, bitch? You know, like <laughs> she's a gypsy. Dude, it's bro. Crazy. You she look just so te- young. You got tested out, bro. <laughs> how, yeah, how, how old are you? 30, uh, 36. Yeah, wow. I'm 37. It's uh, crazy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> It's so crazy. Yeah, forty inches. You're so young. Like, you could be on like Dateline. Like you'd be like, we're the like group. the same age. <laughs> I know, but you look <laughs> yeah. so young. Oh, I look young. Like yeah, you yeah. could be that the girl or the guy. And then yeah. like, want the cookies? <laughs> <laughs> you look, you look, you look really young, bro. Thank you, great, bro. How do you do? You lotion? Yeah, my way. That little it's like compared to YouTube fools, like sequestrame. That little Esther right here, bro. I, 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 I use sunblock, bro. That's it? It's like I'm under those ojos, bro. He's <laughs> really shy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Sunblock and moisturizer. over here, yeah. dude. I take vitamins, yeah. If he gets up in the morning, bro, if you see the shadow, it's too sunny. He goes back. <laughs> <laughs> Cusano, bro. Yeah. So right now, Sunblock's burning my eyes right now. Fuck it. Oh, it really is. Yeah, yeah, it really is. I'm not joking. Are you crying? It's, into a vampire, it's the pain you pay, you know. <laughs> You're all going to sell. one of the Mexicans, uh, uh, like Rodrigo, that's afraid to get dark and shit. No, 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 because some block, so, so, no, I don't care about, no, you still get dark with some block. Uh, those cancer, bit, right? Uh-huh. Cancer, right? Cancer, but cancer, also the sun. If they activate. Skin cancer. But the sun agents your skin, and that's what it says on the. But you're afraid to get dark, huh? So that's what it is, you don't see the But some folks can sun. get dark, though. Yeah. Me, bro, blacking, bro, right, right away, bro. You're looking like a Snickers bar, huh? Right away. I yeah. use some block just because so, I don't want my skin to get wrinkly, that's why. Uh, I, I think it happens you don't do anyways. Bo- you don't do Botox dude. at all, nothing? No, no, yeah, no. Hollywood is calling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do Botox. <laughs> we, we don't know if he does Botox. We got to like, follow him and see where he goes, dude. <laughs> no, because I've known you for a while now. Yeah. You're the same age. He wants yeah. to see careful. <laughs> Sunblock and vitamins. Yeah. yeah. And moisturize. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen you drink a vitamin. I take vitamin. I'll show you. <laughs> it's like Biotin a, and fucking... Uh, this fool's out in the sun all day. He's always skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> But the sunblock, you, know you know that uh, <laughs> that comb that Cholo used, yeah. the hand comb, the hand comb, yeah, yeah the finger in there. He sleeps on top of it. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> the roller dermer. <laughs> That's yeah. hilarious. Seaway. Damn man. I was gonna. See. I wanted to send a picture, but there's a picture. <laughs> he, <laughs> he made him cry, bro. Yeah, crying. No, I got the sunblock. The sunblock's fucking really burning my eyes, bro. There's no sun in here, fool. No, but are you uh, sure it's sunblock? La, la crema se masa en los ojos, Oh my god. It looks like, I was gonna say there's people mad because there's an AI that got us. They they basically predicted how Selena will look like, and she looks like a fucking lady that hace las tortillas way. Like like if she was alive, if she was alive, but I, I'm like 52 is like, like not even nah, old, bro. Like no how, what does she look like? I, I gotta find the picture, bro. Uh, tell she, tell him he'll she find looked it. like J Lo. Full J Lo. Not her, even J-Lo like J Lo. Career. Looked like she became a security guard or something. J Lo's older than her, bro. Like let me see. She's right there. 
Jayla looks good, dude. Oh, she, dude, she looks. I Ar- believe it. She looks Armenian. No, no, there's a no, there's a there's a ugly. Yeah, well, one, that's bro. the one on the right that you're talking about, right? The there's one an on the ugly right. one, bro. No yeah, yeah, way. yeah, that one, dude. That's oh, hell no. Okay, now let she kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mad bit that I know right there, huh? <laughs> let me see. I don't have my glasses. I think she would look like she looks on the right. No, see. Oh. She will still look the same because, like, how does JLo like JLo's JLo older than good, Selena bro. technically? So, like, because JLo tastes um, young because she has that orange drink that nobody never heard of. <laughs> Adrenochrome uh, from the bodega. Yeah, I don't know. So I saw that same video that people are talking. People are kind of uh, they're uh, trying to debunk uh, JLo because there's because all these Gen Z kids are going to the same bodegas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like, oh, there's no orange drink, but then somebody made a good point on TikTok. Bitch, she went to the bodega in the 70s and early 80s. You really think it's me the same? Like, it's been different. She, she, was born in the, she went to in the 70s. I mean, she's... She was she was born, I think, in 69. So she was there at three years old or in that sandwich? She must have been there like, at 10 years old in Probably 79. Probably took a sip out of she's her mom's drink, 50. huh? 50. How old she? 50 now, So right? she... That means older than that. She's 55 right now. So that means she would have been going... I don't want to discredit her, but when I was a kid, all we had was... What she, what what she asked for, but it had always had mayonnaise in it. Torta yeah. de jamón, bro, a fucking birote with Chabu mayonnaise yeah. and fucking Universal, ham yeah. and cheese, a and a little jalapeno inside with Doritos. She Ooh. called it a hoagie, bro. <laughs> she said, "If you know," but she said it like everybody's gonna know. It's like if you know, you know. It's like you're putting up a high five and nobody's high fiving you. <laughs> <laughs> you're right about if that. If you know. You know, but we don't know. But that was like forty years ago. Like I, it's so different. You're like, what do you like? I don't think time changes, bro. If, like it's the same Puerto Rican man working at the bodega. It's the sun now. Like, it's what is sun. your go-to, bro? When you go to a little store, a little store, a like little, a mom and pop, little market, mom and pop, like a deli, oh, like, like a, a, deli? Deli? Like, a, like a, a, a mortadella sandwich. Mortadella, mortadella. I mean, Big Mac's yeah, been the like same that. forever. Right? No, it's a little store. Like if you went to a little store, a little market, a little, 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 little Armenian yeah. market, a little Armenian order market. For a snack. I would just get like the a same. A broski, bro. <laughs> I probably get like a torta de jamón. That's it. I'm pretty sure it's been the same since then. You know, yeah. Torta de jamón. But if I go to, if you go to, like, I mean, it sounds like you, a fat stripper. Me too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> She's my favorite. I would go to if I have money. I would go buy a bag of Doritos, nacho cheese, a strawberry soda, oh or a cola. And a little package of cream cheese, bro, and I'd be sipping it. Oh, um, damn! Philadelphia cream cheese. That's like our boss, That was so detailed. That, that was very. Yeah, that's, uh, that's such a good marijuana. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> or a shoplift from the panería, bro. <laughs> La favorita. Right I used there. to put um all the bread inside my sweats. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Really? <laughs> I was hungry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many would you get per leg, fool? Five. Damn! What was your guys' favorite bed, bread at the panaderia? The minus is the, my mom. Was the, the ears. They, oh, they have the, the cheese. I love the cheese. The ears. What are they call? The cuernos. 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 Orejas. Yeah. Orejas. 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 Cuernos is a croissant. Yeah. Orejas. Yeah, bro. The orejas. I love the cheesecake, bro. The fake cheesecake they have there. It tastes like it still tastes like cow milk. Those that ones with the swirl, is thick, huh, bro? Yeah, it's not even cheesecake, bro. It's thick. like ch- cock. Oh, right there. Yeah, that's the one I like. I cocking. Thicker than a that's Popeye's from, biscuit, that one, bro. That, that um, oreja is very popular all over Europe too. It's in Spain, I saw it in Amsterdam. Oh. I remember my grandma as a kid she, in Mexico City. When I was growing up there. She'd mm. make us drink coffee con leche before we went to sleep and and bread. And she goes, "Go to sleep." My like, bitch, you just <laughs> all <laughs> <Yeah>. the <this> sugar. <laughs> I want to go play. <laughs> you said that you lived in Mexico City every summer because Mexico your parents City. had to work. My parents had to work, and uh, they would send us my, with my grandmother in Mexico City, and I'd be there. I was there for like four years old up until I was like 16. That's sick, Every dude. summer. Mexico City, like I'm talking about Mexico City. It was cracking over there in those days. Yeah, huh? yeah, man. It was crazy. I almost didn't come back. I fell in love with some chick. Nayeli. <laughs> Shout out to Nayeli. Nayeli. <laughs> mija. Waiting for you, we used to call her Nalgeli. Nalgeli. Whoa, dude. <laughs> Hey, yeah. but the kids smoke cigarettes because I remember, I remember they smoke cigarettes like crazy. I started smoking as a kid over there. I remember going out there. Like, like, we're fucking stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's gonna happen in Dragon Ball, bro? Las Maganitas, Street Fighter. Both that way. Yeah, man. Right. The, 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 it's funny, man. Now <laughs> you're Armenian and Mexican, right? Armenian and Mexican. And um, I remember like the first thing that when I when I moved, now, I lived in Los Angeles my whole life. But there was an Armenians in Boyle Heights that I knew about. But I moved to like Silver Lake 
and Echo Park in Glendale. And fuck, bro, I remember fucking uh, <laughs> Burbank, bro, the Starbucks. Yeah. Before they outlawed smoking. Yeah. That was little Odessa, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Starbucks right there in Burbank and the Starbucks on, on Hollywood and Western was deep. Bro, all the all the Starbucks is <laughs> smoking a noosh. And then all Burbank, those, pa- those. <laughs> when Burbank passed that law of no smoking, yeah, outside Burbank, he, England. Though. I thought, man, man, they're going after Armenians, man. Yeah. Fuck this, yeah. uh, loophole, huh? You dressed like an Armenian fool. <laughs> You're all I remember went to a, <laughs> a, 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 I went to a church, bro. My friend, I remember <laughs> I, I tell this joke. I went to a church <laughs> in Glendale, man. The priest was Armenian, bro. He had an extra altar boy yeah, for the. For the ashtray for the cigarette. <laughs> I call it the fog machine. <laughs> Didn't you say you used to go to the Y in Glendale and those fools would be all naked in the naked, street? Room? Dog. Naked, dog. Like naked, naked. Bro, not, bro. not just naked, bro. Like, <laughs> like I, I was sitting with my shorts. There's like this Russian old dude that Putin beat, kicked out of Russia, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and he has hairy. He has, he's hairy, dog. And there's another fool. All, they're all, bro, they're walking around the fucking. I'm just chilling, bro. They're walking around the sauna, bro. Like they're in prison still or something, bro. A march like, or what? Like the Turkish just fucked them up and told yeah. them to stay in there. They're like going back and forth over and over. And then I sit down, bro, and this is old ass Asian man, butt naked, bro. <laughs> Harry I look fuck, down, man. saw his little old ass Japanese nutsack. That fool, <laughs> that fool is doing sit ups, bro, next to me. Why? Try, try to impress exactly you, huh? why? You ain't, you ain't gonna beat but death, why, motherfucker. Why are you still in there? Yeah, exactly, I would have locked bro. out. Hey, man. Where, I'm like, yo, there's a lot of dick. Let's I see where it goes, here. bro. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna get some material. <laughs> No man, but naked though. Did, did they ever take off their chains when they were in there? Or no, never, never, bro. Yeah. <laughs> bro, it looks like this. They're just like this. With bro, the carpeteria, <laughs> like that, <laughs> exactly like that, bro. Like an ant farm. <laughs> you got PTSD. <laughs> Look at Build a Bear over here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh eucalyptus. Some yeah. dude, the same guy, he brought eucalyptus inside the sauna and he put it all over, bro. The whole your sauna oh, smelled yeah. like. Oils, hey, bro. It's good, you know. It cleans it's good out your for lungs. breathing. It's good, it's for, good breathing. for breathing. Breathing. It, it clears the. Pathway. It clears everything, bro. After you smoke a carton, huh? It looks like meth. Does you lift this? It like oh, oh, you snorted, right, bro? And then no, the, no, 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 fucking no. dive. You no. snorted. No, it's the concentrated. Old, the old lady put it in hot water. And oh. The old ladies would complain every day, every morning that the pool is too cold, bro. That they gotta put the heater up because they like it at they like it at seventy nine. That's Sometimes that should be a 76, 72, too cold. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good time. Did you have a membership or did you just sneak in? No, I have a membership, bro. What color was your card? I don't even remember. Me yeah, and I didn't have membership. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever been to Armenia? No, I'm, gl- I'm just Glendale and Burbank. <laughs> 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 no, man, I bought. Uh, just I, too loudy, bro. You want to hear a true story? So the Kill so right. I've been getting kind of popular with the Armenian community. It's been great. Armenia government hit me up. They wanted me to go out there for two weeks to do a, an event, a show. And I was, I was all about it. I'm like, yeah, I'm so down. Let's do it. And then I go, uh, what? how much does it pay? And they go, no money. And, <laughs> the real Armenia show. And is. then I go, but the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, the funny thing is, I this isn't a phone call. This is an email I read. I heard it in that voice. <laughs> no money. <laughs> uh, long story short, we'll give you um, they they said no money i said i'll think about it the next day tmz reports snoop dogg is going to armenia for six million dollars whoa the next day i'm not even joking right he took the budget bro i'm like bro i know <laughs> all i wanted was like a thousand bucks yeah <laughs> does he yeah. Yeah. Vacation, he, didn't even, he didn't even go he didn't even go wow he just took the check and bounced that's bad cool. wow where, where have you gone anywhere in europe just amsterdam and Rotterdam, but I'm, I have a big tour in December. I'm going to 14 cities. Oh, Woo. I'm going to Lisbon, Madrid. I'm going to um, wow, Barcelona. Barcelona, London, Amsterdam, Paris, what? Dublin. Where are you going? Berlin, and uh, Stockholm, Sweden. The dates are right there. Oh wow, they're right there, bro. In uh, November, December. Wait, that's not November, Australia. December. Yeah, it's not Australia. I'm, I'm going to London in November. Maybe I'll meet you. Ooh. Meet me there, bro. We have some big-ass fries. Meet me there, man. <laughs> I'm there, the, I'm there the week, that, those two weeks, too. 
Oh, oh hell so yeah. Hang out. Well, that's fucking dope. Two Mexicans in London? <laughs> so yeah, maybe bro. three, bro. It should be a movie. <laughs> <laughs> now Big Ben. Big Ben Jamin, homie. You ever thought about... Um, I know a friend of mine. His name is Chris Sesma. He directed my movie. I'm not like that no more. You know, like they gave that fool my comedy album and then that fool made it into a fucking screenplay. No way. And then I added like 10 more pages to that screenplay to make it longer. But the whole screenplay was my stand-up. Like, every punchline in that movie was my stand-up. Yeah, your first that. hour, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You ever thought about yeah. taking your stand-up and making it like a, a movie that you could promote? Oh, no, I'm going too far. But anyway, that fool directed a movie one time, an action movie that... More than one. Yeah, the, over here in America, right? That was, you know, it was... I. All right. But in Armenia, boom! Oh, yeah. They fucking hit. loved it, bro. They had Armenian producers. They had Armenian, pro- really? they had Armenian producers. So then those producers, they 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 walked up to him and said, listen, man, why don't you... I don't, I don't want to do the accent, but why don't you write uh, an Armenian crime movie with action that could be produced and shot all in Armenia and then we'll pay you? So that fool wrote it, dog. He wrote like three... <laughs> He has like three series already, right? No way. He has Action Jackson, that that, that UFC. Yeah. He throws in like uh, Kimbo Slice. Kimbo Slice. Oh, really? What is that word they use when they throw in an old action star? Geezer, teaser. Geezer, teaser. Geezer, teaser. Geezer, teaser? They call him Geezer, teaser, where they get a guy that that we that uh, we grew up with, like John Claude Van Damme, like Dolph right? Dolph Lundgren and Dolph, like Dolph that, yeah. Lundgren or or. Like not not as famous as Danny Trejo. The Expendables. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But lower than Expendables, but they're 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 still they world famous. Like they never like these guys never been to Turkey. They never been to um the other countries. But all those fools seen him in the Yeah, so when he fucking did that movie, Armenia went nuts, bro. So that fool went over there and did a a, like a bunch of movies, bro. Let me tell you, bro. The quality, I don't know how the story why is, but the quality <coughs> it looks like a, a P. Diddy video or one of those nineties videos whoa, whoa, whoa. where video? they're all shot. <laughs> hey, dude, what P. Diddy video, video bro? <laughs> it nobody, take, that, room, take that. Ain't nobody can hold me down. Take that. Oh no. <laughs> I'm about to. I thought I told you that we Oh no, oh, oh, P. Diddy. <laughs> P. Diddy, he uh-huh. did it. Oh, there's a mole in here, huh? Yo, I was so with that story. He's like, we're gonna go to Armenia and make a movie, and then it was like a P Diddy video. Time out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. So, um, yeah, man, it's, a, it's an idea. I would love to if do you that. Spoke man. to those same people. I mean, let's do a movie instead. Dude, I, I want to do a movie about growing. You could write up a Arme- comedy, bro. Armenian Mexican. Me- <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> How do you say Friday in Armenian? Viernes. Well, how do you say it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got high too for it's what? Gi- <laughs> no, it's... Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Badu, uh, that, uh, gira- no, Yergu Shabbat, Yerek Shabbat, Shor Shabbat, Badu. King Shabbat. King Shabbat. Last gira- King Shabbat, Friday. bro. Ultimate. Dude, it's so hard with learning both languages. I, I always bet, fuck dude. it up. fucking scrambling. It's so hard. Is it, which one's easier? Uh, I mean, because you grew up in more here in LA, I, so like I, when I tell everyone, they goes, "What do you what do you identify more, Armenian or Mexican?" Okay, I, I love both, but Mexican girls when I was growing up were the only ones putting out, so Spanish was the way to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Qué pasó, mija? No te aguites." <laughs> we love this guy. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I. I- uh, it's true uh, that when Armenians are born, bro, they give them a, a, like a gold chain right away. Yeah, they get a bracelet. <laughs> In the lighter, especially, right? Especially even at the baptism in the lighter. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny you say that, bro. A little ashtray, huh? Because because that, that's hoodie. like an old school sh- tradition because when I was a little kid, there's like a, a baby baby photo of me. I have a little pinky ring already, bro. Yeah, yeah. I have a bracelet and I have a little gold chain, bro. Yeah, yeah right. I'm ready to pimp, bro. <laughs> yeah. Ready to sell cars, eh? <laughs> Ready to sell furniture for La Popular. <laughs> la popular. Be, be, la it's popular. part of the celebration of having a baby, too, though. You know, throwing some Yeah, then the next it. kid doesn't get shit, eh? Yeah, usually the first couple ones on, huh? then it wears uh, off. Yeah, the third, the last kid, you didn't even teach him how to walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't even know his dad. You learn your own, man. He's over there, like he's walking with a limp. Do, does your guys' parents still have your guys' this umbilical cord, like in a photo album? You guys still eat People it, right? Eat them. <laughs> huh? What? Where's what? the family what that eat the, 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 the umbilical cord? Eh? Like, like beef jerky? No. <laughs> you look like you. You small, bro. <laughs> you like the placenta. That's what it is. That's how you stay young. Huh? No, my mom still has my placenta milk. right here. Right? <laughs> he's, still got, he's still got his baby clothes still on. 
Because remember, like, those, those burp them. Dog. Remember, like, umbil umbilical cords, like, they stop for a while and then they just shrivel up. Did your mom save it? My mom saved it, yeah. She still has I'm it. I'm too dog. Dude, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, this is kind of gross, but, like, uh, <laughs> like a couple years ago, we have kids. I, was digging in my, I was digging in my belly button and I go, what is that? <laughs> my and son. I pulled something <laughs> in there. And I think it was part of my umbil umbilical cord still. Really? And it was like this little black thing. Yeah, what were you digging for, <laughs> dude? Did he beat I don't know. I was in there. It was dirt, bro. <laughs> was, bro, bro, like, leave me alone, bro. Like ingrown hair. I bro. thought it was a hair and I was just in there. It was beef jerky that fell in And then I, I stuck two fingers. I'm like, deeper. Anyways. <laughs> it was a kebab, bro. <laughs> oh. What's your go-to guy's food when you're late night? Me, late night, man, lately, it's been like... Ranch Doritos, Ranch Doritos, yeah, and a uh, like a, a sparkling water or a something diet. That's drink. hilarious. <laughs> or a get, get, Gatorade Red, mm. yeah, Taco Bell. Oh, Whatever's yeah. open. What, what, you know, oh, Taco Bell for sure, man. Taco Bell like four. Mm. Pastor tacos are mine with no cheese. Pastor tacos, and pastor. you know, recently I found out that Pastor tacos came from Lebanon. Yeah, yeah, the shawarma, yes. yeah. yeah. I did not know that. I, I was watching this. Um, no, I was Star watching Wars. this guy from oh. Lebanon, an area Middle Eastern, and they were making. Um, they were making the same thing we make, but it was their version. <coughs> you know how we make the the those tortas mojadas or aguadas? Yeah, yeah. drown them. You, you drown them. I saw the the dude over there in, in the Middle East did the same thing, bro. He got that big ass bread and he put it in that oil where that meat was, and then he fried it up again. Then he, then he put the meats on it. Sounds good. And we bro. do the same thing with Al Pastor, bro. Come on, halal style. There it is. You know, like boom, boom. So the other way will be like so tortas good. ahogadas, right? Ahogadas? Ahogada yeah. means drowned like uh, torta. So basically like... like they put like that a, like that little juice on top like, of like, it. Basically like basically like a French socket, you know? Llorona. <laughs> a llorona. Ahoga tus pinches yeah, torta. It wasn't drowned. It was a different... Yeah, there's, there's, there's ahogada and then there's pambaso. 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 I love pambaso. That's Mexico, Mexico That's City, City one, right? One, yeah. one dip, that's it. Dipped Bambasso. in like red sauce, right? I don't know yeah, what it is, but it's amazing. That it's a little yeah, gristle sauce, huh? Fucking hungry. Like, I had pambasso too, one time. I think <laughs> I my, my, my mom or my aunt made it, but they made the salsa real sweet, bro. It was good. Well, I don't think uh, I've ever had that. You're Ooh. Mexican? Yeah, bro. From Mexico, what part? <laughs> Sinaloa, bro. Really? Snuck in fair and square. No right there, bro. Pambaso. Yeah. Red sauce. That's it right there. Bro, if you would ask anyone, anybody from Sinaloa, where I, like the, the people who grew up when I was there, they look at stuff like this and go, bro, no, we don't eat chingaderas, dog. No comemos pinche comida de extranjeros. Estos güeyes se marranaron, güey. Me while they're eating taco de sesos, bro. That's their main thing. Oh, I used to eat that shit as a kid. Es que no tengo aliente, Felipe. I used to hate those tacos, bro, because every once in a while you feel the dirt, bro. It's I think it's just like that little, the little bit of a uh, <laughs> the, the, the vein, yeah, Bone something. Marrow. Yeah, yeah, bear. That's exactly what it is. I just hated to try it. I don't really like it though. It's all right. And me, cabeza is my go-to taco. Me, cabeza is a lot of cabeza are out there, and like I, I can't do that now. I want stereotype, but usually the people that I see eating tacos like that at a taco truck. They have dark ass hands, bro. Dirty, dirty the guy fingernails, made huh? Yeah. <laughs> like they, like, like they were they were moving mufflers all day, dark bro. Dark ass hands. Pinche mugre, huh? Uh, like the whole body is regular, but their hands, like they, they like, uh, they were digging for otters somewhere, <laughs> bro, uh, or something. It looks like uh, it looks like uh, what's it called uh, when you t when your hands are uh, in cold forever? They already know that they're frostbitten, dude. <laughs> he goes, "Let me cinco de cada uno," and they go, "Oh fuck, hey, this guy." But it's all cooked in the same fucking oil, too. Like this guy, this kind of guy that would never eat lobster, bro. All he wants is tacos de, <laughs> de, de, de uñas and shit. Yeah. No, no surf, just turf. Hey, I'm bro. sure there's people that have only eaten tacos their whole life like that. Just yeah, turf. Alfa Robles, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Even bought a hat. <laughs> I'm but, telling you, bro. But it's funny because a lot of those, uh, like those uh, spots. For real, bro. Not to talk about bad about Alfa Robles. One time he went to a Cuban restaurant and he put his head down crying, bro. He didn't want to eat there. <laughs> Only Mexican food, but a lot, lot, a lot of those places like uh, that we've been to, we went, we went to this place in Lincoln Heights, bro. They cook all the meat, like they're five different, different like meats. I guess it's the same animal, but different parts of the fucking animal. Remember, like, but Lincoln it bleeds Heights? into each other, though. Yeah, like it's just like all the oils. But at the end, I feel like it tastes the same. And the guy didn't nah, have gloves. No, remember, dude, that was a like dirty ass now, spot, bro. Dude. You need gloves, <laughs> and he handles the money too. You like gloves <laughs> now, dog? <laughs> shit, bro. Raw dog, bro. People always say the tacos tasted better before COVID, eh? Because back then, bro, the 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 
The guy didn't wash his hands, bro. I've they been from better. some dirty ass spots, dude. That were bomb as fuck. Bro, yeah. I, I've been talking <laughs> with a guy grabbing the money, wiping his sweat, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Rascando el culo I didn't también, say right? Nothing, eh? Goes out there, smokes a cigarette, come back. Yeah, you go to one of those places that order food, and you're trying to. Where's it sit? And he pull out a bucket. Here, sit in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you ever ate at a burrito spot or a taco place where next door, like it's sad, but the next door, the it's like a auto body place. And they have, I don't know, but they need a dog chained up for some reason all night. Like Security, bro. That's security. That's what you, <laughs> all he does is just bark at all the people eating tacos, bro. They're, they're fucking with him. They're throwing tacos at his ass. They're throwing hot sauce at him. Because if they let him out, dude, he's going to bite somebody, dog. He'll fuck somebody up. Yeah, bro. hell yeah. yeah. It's a junkyard dog but right there. He's bro. fucking chained up, bro. But that makes him more vicious, fool. They don't even feed him, huh? <laughs> no, leftovers they, at the end, yeah, they like, like the scrape. What am I? Yeah, the scrape oh, at the, the scrape, end, bro. dude. That's, dude, <laughs> dude, that's where the ASPCA. flavors at. <laughs> we, your mother is Mexican, right? My mother's Mexican. She has family in Mexico City. Family in Mexico City. And that's your father, cool. we have family where? In uh, Beirut, and in Armenia, and in Holland. When your dad left Beirut when shit went down. Shit went down. There was the the war. He went. Uh, well, I think he was like 16 years old. Went to New Jersey. Went to Cyprus. And from Cyprus went to New Jersey. And your dad speaks good Spanish, too. And my dad tells me a crazy story, bro. Like, just like, had he, like, left, like, during the war, he had nothing, and you put a backpack, and you travel over here. Wow. And it's like, I... He came solo? No family? solo, no one by himself. His, uh... My grandfather's brother was living in New Jersey, and he, they sent for him, and he was, like, a foreign exchange thing. So he went to New, New Jersey, and, uh... That was it, man. It was crazy. He, my dad said he hated the cold, came to California, met my mother... And then that's it. What did they meet? The haha? <laughs> <laughs> non stop laughs. Huh? <laughs> Everybody, come on. <laughs> no, they they, uh, they met at, uh, through a friend, through a friend. My dad tricked my mom. Your dad my was dad, singing, though, right? My dad spoke Spanish fluent to my mom, and my mom yeah. thought my dad was Mexican. He thought it was going to be weird out talking to me. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> So Your dad speaks good Spanish. I remember, uh, he speaks better than Felipe. Bro. Way <laughs> better than me. Bro. I remember one time I, um, I, I fuck up two languages at the same time every day. I remember one time I make him an honorary Mexican. Huh? One time he needed help connecting some lines. I, I, Puedes conectar las, lucici, las lucecitas. I'm like, what? Like, that was really good Spanish. Lucecitas? Yeah, see, like, see, hazlo, chavo, para que te des un toque. Do you speak Spanish? Play fluent? Yeah. Yeah. You can read and write. I can read and write, but I don't know how to like talk to people who are educated. Same like, shit. Is that, yeah, is like, that, like, that in general or just in Spanish? Like <laughs> CNN, bro, they, they gotta slow the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing an interview for my Mexico City show that's on May 11th uh -huh. at the Pepsi Center, and then this guy was asking me a question, throwing us some then fucking big let, words. Yeah, bro, and I went like this: "Yes, first of all, what does that word mean, yeah. bro?" I said in Spanish, "He quiere decir con eso." <laughs> then he finally explained it to me. Oh, okay. Mira, wait. ¿Cómo te sientes? Escenario means sketch, right? Or scene. 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 scene or stage. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, how do you say sketch in Spanish? Sketch, wey. Sketch, wey. Sketch. Sketch. But I guess like they adopt a lot what of English words. What size shoes you wear, bro? They look longer today. Eight and a half. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're white. These are eight and a half. <laughs> you got some little bananas you, you today. You walk huh? here, you kayak here, dog. <laughs> eight and a half? They don't have yeah. Those have uh, wheels, those are, huh? <laughs> They're my newborn are bigger. I go like this, and the wheels come out. <laughs> you gotta get them a cape, bro. What size are those? Eight and a half. Wow. Is that small? <laughs> That's 14. Look but, long, you're bro. 14, bro? Yeah, 14. You know, it's because they're cause Fuck, uh, butch. <laughs> <laughs> You got a little space boots on, huh? This is yours, though, yeah. Show us your dick, it. bro. Look. Dick, bro. Oh, yeah, you you yeah. fucked up your ankle or what? Look like, <laughs> they look like almohadas, bro. Almohadas. Yeah. They fucked up your ankle. Tengo sueño, güey. I got five kids, fool. <laughs> you have five, fool? Well, I have three that I made and I two that I took over payments. <laughs> <laughs> I you had three. Yeah, damn. Yeah. So I just, I just, he's uh, one month old. He's at home right now. One the month. newborn. The newborn. Wow. It's kind of weird, though, because he's, like, he's super new and his eyes are blue. So, but they say that's going to change. But he's blind already. He's fucking... <laughs> Get Ray Charles. What, what's your oldest? How old's your oldest kid? My oldest is my steps, and he's 19. But the one, my biological one, is 14. Oh, wow. Your wife is older than you? No, like a month. By a month. Oh, she's a 19 year old? When she have that? When she was 20. Oh, okay. Wow. okay. <laughs> That's <Young>. normal. Yeah. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you have any brothers and sisters? 
Yeah, they're out there crying. <laughs> you don't talk to them? Nah. None of them? <laughs> my brother, one of my brothers, actually, Albert, he works for UPS. He's a mechanic. Uh-huh. So whenever you see those trucks break down, it's his fault. He's the one over there. That <laughs> they tow them to him and he fixes them. <clears throat> oh, okay, cool. And I have a son that works for FedEx. How many sons do you have? Three. Two. Well, two. And a stepson. A stepson. Yeah. My oh. daughter lives in Sweden. She's married to a Lebanese guy. No way. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, my ne- grandson oh, has Persian. hair like you. He does. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That fool was born like he was born hairy, hairy ass back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I remember holding him, bro. Like, damn, that fool had a hairy ass back already, eh? A lot of <laughs> fools do. Yeah, I, I recently started growing hair in my back. His grandfather, though, is 100% Lebanese. <laughs> I don't know Lebanese. why. I, I never had hair in my back. <laughs> he just Persian. started patches. Oh, shit. Persian, Persian bro. He's Persian. Persian. Oh, nice. They're right, eh? Persians. So he's Muslim. Yeah. Muslim, yeah. Ramadan yeah. just ended. Oh shit! The fasting, right? Fasting, man. Bro, it's crazy. Let's eat. My now. new openers are all Muslim. Oh yeah. really? You don't gotta buy them any food. <laughs> hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Does your mother make Ain't tamales? Wild, no, man. Or does she buy them from a store <laughs> and then put some okay. claims like they're like this? All guy. right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. My famous. What tamales. happened, bro? Nothing. I haven't. I I, I didn't share the clip because I'm scared they're gonna see. <laughs> no, dude. What clip? So okay, so like this happened like a. Uh, you made tamales? So my, my girl is Filipina, oh, right? Wishes, my girl's Filipina. And she made tamales. No, 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 no. Oh, so okay. my girl's Filipina, right? And every time I go to like their like their Christmas gatherings, like I wouldn't really I bring okay. like, you know, some stuff, but then I ended up bringing my mom my tia's tamales and they loved it, right? Uh, and this one year, I guess the oven the oven was fucked up. And I, I bought tamales from Northgate, bro, and I passed them off as my aunts. Uh, they loved them better. And uh, since then I've been like, you know, Faking it, and then my girlfriend told them the truth. I'm like, why would you fucking wow. like? It felt so good that they needed me. It felt so good yeah, that they yeah, were looking yeah. for like, where's yeah. Mart? Where's Martina? You know? And well, like, Filipino food is pretty hardcore, dude. Like, it is, dude. It's, it's like, fuck, they're dude. Excited about those they're excited. Yeah, and my yeah, they, they're tired of eating freaking lechon. <laughs> <laughs> but now that my girl told them, they're like, oh, we don't need this guy. We could just go get him at the fucking market. <laughs> you know? My purpose is done. What? Where's the lady at? The taller lady at? The what? Where'd you get the tamales from? What store? Northgate. Oh, North the mall? Vallarta. Oh, Vallarta. Yeah, oh, Vallarta, they're bomb, bro. They're bomb, but now they don't need me, bro. He's going to get, get a new girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bring Armenian food, bro. Like, bro, I bring some Armenian food, changing, bro. Man. I'm going to bring something different, dude. Where they're going to need me every year, you know? Yeah, I'll just go over there. <laughs> <laughs> Disposable hero over here, dude. Are you really with anybody? Huh? You dating anybody? I'm married, dude. You're married? Yeah. No way. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, was, I didn't want, I didn't know that. <laughs> I, oh, you don't post kids. about it at all. Yeah, I post about it. Not really? <laughs> you don't love them. <laughs> I didn't uh, know. I really thought you were. You got to show them how much you love them on the internet. <laughs> yeah. You know? He likes no. to keep it at 2,000 followers. Eh? All right. <laughs> He's at 29. <laughs> 29. <laughs> 29 handy. <laughs> Yeah. Are you gonna have any kids, bro? I'm trying, bro. I've been busting. I can't. Oh, you trying to? Oh, I did about all that, dude. That nut is weak, homie. It <laughs> is weak, bro. It's because his shoes. Too much suntan lotion. That's what he's squirting. Suntan lotion. Suntan lotion. So every girl, every girl, every girl, <laughs> every girl I've been with, like I've always, you know, like not, you know, it's funny because like, when you're in your twenties, like, oh, dude, they yeah. don't get pregnant. But now I'm like, fuck, dude, they don't get pregnant, dude. You like, drink Mountain Dew? No, I don't do. I don't drink soda. I Man, I should drink soda. I don't smoke weed. You know what it is? I think your sperm still think you're a little kid still. I think your underwear's too tight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. Underwear's too tight. Too much uh, heat, excessive heat. heat down there. But it's funny because like uh, every girl I've dated, like I've you know, but you know, I've d- done the Baja blast in there. You know, do you tell her that. What do you tell her? I, I finished in you. Yeah, yeah, they know. Oh, yeah, okay. like like. So then they probably wouldn't yeah. got Plan B. Little, pa- <laughs> little pastelitos, you know. Uh, pastelitos. <laughs> yeah, but. Every girl, you know, so we've been, oh, cool, we, we can't get pregnant. But then after that, when we break up, they date somebody and they get pregnant. So, uh, so I've been, I've been, dude, I've been like a cycle. You yeah, should go dude. get a, just go get checked. Yes. But it's funny, like, I thought Mexicans was like, you don't have to. I'm know? Mexican, but not you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fully Mexican? Yeah, I'm fully Mexican, yeah, yeah. All right. So, yeah. But my girl, one time she did, uh, she did uh, get pregnant, but then like, uh, like a couple weeks later happened and then, yeah, she lost it. Well, I'm sorry, man. So, yeah, so. So you're actually trying, though. I'm not trying, but it's just if it happens, it happens. It happens. I'm maybe at that age, you know. Maybe you're lady lifting too many heavy boxes at work, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I take care of my dog all the time. <clears throat> my dog's 14. How many dogs have you had? I've had three dogs. Oh, wow. Since you were little? Since I was little, man. What is, uh, what, what, like the little guy, you, you, when you were like, 
you, you grew up with one of them and then he died? <laughs> no, I had a German Shepherd and he was like two. And then my dad took him to the haha, right? And I came from school and then my dad goes, he ran away. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, but he dude. sold the dog. My dad sold the dog to a, a he goes to a better home. Yeah. Whoa. Crazy. Huh? Uh, I've had like three dogs so far in my life. We Just found these one. ones, right? These ones. I, I got into dogs really late. My, my, my grandma had dogs, but they all live on the roof in Mexico. She uh, so it was kind of racist. She called one of them Prieto, which was he, he lived up there. Oh, fool! Oh, this weekend, antenna, homie. You know? <laughs> we call antenna, homie. This weekend when we were driving to um, Monterey, yeah, we were on the highway, and we were on that um, I don't know what highway it was, but the one that takes you to Monterey, and we saw a dog, bro, like an abandoned dog. He looked confused, right? Like, really? Like somebody must have just dumped his ass or something. Oh, no. He looked all, he was like a lab, old lab. He was like looking around like, he was like at the edge of the Bobby the mountain, like there was nowhere to go, but get hit. After a while, we just made a U-turn, bro, to look for that fool. We couldn't find him, but then I saw the tire tracks. Somebody must have saw him after us and took his ass right away and like rescued him. Oh yeah? Wow. Sucks. That's good. Do you guys have dogs, pets, dinosaurs, or dragons? Like you ever got hurt and your dragon has a sore throat? Like today I, I bought my dog a bone and um you shouldn't buy dog bones. Because <laughs> there's after a while those dogs start chewing that bone and you turn around, next thing you know this guy has a sharp ass bone, bro. And you look you look at his throat. And this guy is really gnawing at that bone. My dog was bleeding today, bro, from his mouth. I don't think about dogs, man. They'll eat a glass full of candy, huh? Yeah. They don't even care. They'll start chewing on glass. Anything. Yeah. I named the dog Diddy. <laughs> yeah, man. He's at it again. <laughs> Your pet is one of a kind, and so is their journey. While every playful moment is a memory in the making, Sometimes our cats and dogs are a little too good at getting into trouble. That's why you should check out ASPCA Pet Health Insurance. Getting a new pet soon? That means you need to think about getting the necessities like food, toys, a bed. Sometimes you may not be thinking about though it's pet insurance. That's why you should check out ASPCA Pet Health Insurance. Now, imagine this. You're at the vet office again, knowing that your vet care costs continue to rise. You're anxiously waiting to hear how expensive the bill would be. But if you had pet insurance, your pet could be covered for accidents or illnesses. That's why you, you should check out ASPCA Pet Health Insurance. The ASPCA Health Insurance Program offers... Customers, customizable, what? The ASPCA Pelt Head Insurance offers customizable accidents and illness plans, make it easier for pet parents like you to help your pet get the care they may need. The ASPCA Health Insurance Program has been around for over 18 years. And they've helped more than 600,000 pets during that time. They uh, they allows you to customize your plan, helping ensure that your pet's plan is as unique as they are. Because vet pills can really add up, especially when you least expect it. It's simple. Use the app to submit a claim, and you'll receive reimbursement for eligible vet bills directly into your bank account. To explore our coverage, visit ASPCAPetInsurance.com slash foo. That's ASPCAPetInsurance.com slash foo. Again, that's ASPCAPetInsurance.com slash foo, man. This is a paid advertisement insurance. It is underwritten by either Independence American Insurance Company or United States Fire Insurance Company and produced by PTZ. Insurance Agency Limited. The ASPCA is not an insurer and is not engaged in the business of insurance. I told you once. I never had a dog. 
Never? We'll, we'll get you one, bro. There's so many dogs in my neighborhood, man. I'll bring you one, dude. <laughs> so many, dude. You never had a dog or you're never. a cat, cat guy. No, I had a cat uh, when I was a, an adult, probably like, what, 27? Yeah, that was the first time we have a cat now, dude. But yeah, never had dogs. Dogs are the Dogs best, are cool, dude. though. I love them, dude. Remember Noe Gonzalez's joke? Hey, kitty, kitty. <laughs> kitty, kitty. <laughs> a fucking good ass joke. That's a nice reminder, bro. I used to have a pet hyena, bro, <laughs> back in the day. A, pa- a pet hyena? Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Pet hyena? Bro, those things are vicious, dude. You live in the Serengeti, bro. Are you mean for real? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but I saw these. Uh, these uh, you know, you, you always see lions. And you see um, dingoes, dingoes, and you dingoes. see these fucking um, hyenas beat up lions. No, fight lions and then fight a take down a water buffalo, right? Yeah, pack rats. Now. But I never seen a hyena next to a fucking human being, bro. Because so this African guy holding this fucking hyena. God damn, hyenas are huge, bro. They're, They're huge, big, dude. They're really? huge, the dude. size of a like a pony. It's like a fucking the size of a, a pig. Yeah. But taller, bro. Really? It's yeah, like it's like dude. five times the size of a pit bull. Where did you see that just, video of the guy with the hyena? Dogs, bro. No way. The guy that was telling the story about killing that monkey. Yeah, I, I seen it on Instagram, dude. Like two months back, that shit look, that shit was crazy. Know, looking. Hyenas from the Lion King. Yeah, <laughs> they they those are like they nice hyenas. Too, those are like, <laughs> not a real one, dude. Mufasa. Do they don't end. laugh. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> they, they do like a weird noise. That uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's almost like it, but it doesn't. Yeah. But they're weird. They're big. They're big ass fuck, dude. Remember that cartoon? They used to have a Joker and he had a hyena. Oh yeah, he did have a hyena. Another one that looks like him is the one that's been extinct, right? The uh, Tasmanian Devil or a yeah. uh, uh, type type of a uh, hyena dog. My those are Taz. extinct. Uh huh. Tasmanian those are extinct. I think so. Are they extinct? So, really? You have a special. You have a special coming out. Or? No, I don't have a special coming out. But you, you have a big show, right, coming up? So um, Netflix is a joke. Uh, two shows sold when, out. bro? Belasco Theater, Woo! Uh, May 11th. Hell yeah. That's a badass sold theater, bro. Downtown I've never, I've never done it. That's a badass theater. Um, Oscar La Jolla used to have his Golden Boy fights there. No way. That's when they were first popping off right there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty nervous. I've never uh, done a, that big of a crowd for Is myself. it originally the Doolittle, Doolittle Theater? I don't or? know. I don't even know where the Doolittle is. I just forgot where it was. Any advice? Congrats. Tear it up, bro. Dude. When was the first time you did a a six hundred seater theater? How how how, what was your experience? Like, like? where you sold that on your own? Sold it on your own six hundred seats. How much how, how mm. many seats does the DC Improv have? Uh, like four hundred. I sold that shit out, bro, on a Tuesday, bro, and I was excited. Whoa. Oh yeah, I was so expi- excited, bro. I bought a hundred dollar pair of pants. Whoa, leather from, pants from from, from Lucky's. Lucky's man, you Lucky put a zipper down and says Lucky you're brand. about to get lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Weighs 40, bro, 29. I'm what right, up? If you did, uh, I remember like one of the first times after the last comic stand, you did a uh, <laughs> Bakersfield Theater. That was a big deal. Hell yeah, the Fox. Yeah, the Fox Theater, dude. And the one in Oxnard. Oxnard, too. Yeah, yeah, the theater. Yeah, Joey Diaz feature in those shows. I was nervous about the Microsoft because that was a lot of people, man. Yeah? And let's follow a lot of comedians. How many comics went up? It was Concrete doing warm ups, Rodrigo, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Cam, Flores. Cam Flores and um, Dan Telefonte. I saw Dan you Telefonte do the Microsoft. And who else? That, that comedian. Uh, who the hell was that comedian? Deborah. Oh, that from uh, Canada, right? Yeah. I forgot her name is Trevor Giovanni. Huh? Deborah Giovanni. Deborah right? Giovanni, bro. She's funny. <laughs> Remember April Foolishness? I saw That's you. That's right. I saw, I saw you there. You've done that shit twice, oh, right? Wow. Yeah, bro. He did it. I saw him. You freaking murdered that show. Which, was one, which one did you I say? Was backstage. Right? And I was like, Felipe. He's like, well, I saw a fool. And then he fucking left. <laughs> Is that the one that Eddie Izzard was on? Uh, I think that's the one with the wrestling match. Doug Benson, Adam Ray. Oh, that's uh, old school, dude. The first one, yeah. Yeah, that was the first one. Yeah, All right, guys. I got to I gotta go. Get out of here, bro. All right, guys. It was fun. <laughs> I, I, but, uh, I'll oh, see. Oh, no. You. Don't go. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're going <laughs> to miss. <laughs> we can't go on without you. <laughs> we'll super glue right, yourself to the seat. Hasta luego. See you. You guys Better, have bro. fun tomorrow. You guys are leaving, right? Yeah. We'll miss you guys. Be safe, bro. Cuídate. You need, you need assistance? <laughs> you have a spot somewhere, right? Where at? My first comic club was oh, Super yeah. Eagle. Have and, fun. Uh, no, homies. Cheer the it homies, up, bro. Cheer it up. Tell the spot. A las ocho. Bro, you better hurry up, bro. <laughs> you might miss your two drink minimum. <laughs> <laughs> he thirsty. I'm at the Hollywood Improv tonight. Daniel Tosh, special guest. Daniel Tosh? 
I have a question. How do you feel about that? What? You're headlining a show, and then uh, a big name just comes in and goes, I'm going to go up, too. How does, how does it make you feel? That never happened to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, dog. Damn, dog. Thank you. Uh, I, you th- I was really excited. Oh. I'm, he- I'm headlining the Oh, Hollywood wait, wait, Improv. wait. Um, Actually, when I was at the Comedy Magic Club, we already had our show, and then they told us that Paul Reiser wants to be on the show, and we said, all right. Yeah. That was it. Wait, um, you put him on before, yeah, he went on before me. Right. Is Daniel going up before you or after That's you? That's the thing. They said that uh, we don't know what time he's going to get there. He might have to go up after you or whatever. So it's kind of like in a weird situation. Like, I don't want to piss off the improv, but I'm like, I'm like I don't want to like this moment. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not announced, so. No, they announced him. Okay. They, yeah, they announced him. That's what I'm talking about. The so he'll be on your show. Yeah. So it's sold out already. Yeah. Because of you, I guess. But yeah, well, I've, been, I've been doing good, man, though. The Armenian community has been really freaking showing up everywhere, bro. Hell yeah, dude. Try to get the Mexicans, though, to come out. But the Mexicans, I think you guys, they love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're going to, so but sometimes, you know, like a big comic will show up and then go up at the end, but I don't. I'm just, he, I don't he's know. working on new material? I don't know. He only knows that, only knows that I, it's going to be a host. I have him, he's supposed to do 20, 25, and then I'm going to do my hour. Cause I'm putting my hour together right now. Cause I'm trying to, I'm trying to get like you and put it on Netflix. Dude. That's 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 the goal right now. It's on the whiteboard. It's on the vision board. I'm trying to do that right now. How'd you get your Netflix deal? How did that happen? Oh, we had a dude. I went in. I, w- I had a meeting with Netflix already, and I got there when um, Kevin Hart was meeting with them first. Oh. I get there and there's like this big. There's like a big red Lamborghini parked. Illegally parked in front of Netflix building, and I said, "Oh man, who the fuck is that?" Then I then I somebody told me it was Kevin Hart's Lamborghini. So when I come out, uh, he tells me, "What's up, fool?" And I tell him, "What's up, fool?" He goes, <laughs> I, he goes and Kevin Hart <laughs> says, "I warmed them up for you, fool." I said, "All right." He goes, "They're, they're gonna give you a deal too," and they gave me a deal too. Oh, nice, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. The guy Robbie from Netflix. Yeah, I've yeah. known him because I known him from fuck, bro, from 2005 because he was like the guy that was working the backstage at the Montreal Comedy Festival Young Comedian Show. No way. Like if you watch the movie Comedian with Seinfeld, yeah, he's the one that's talking to um, Ar- Orny Adams, uh huh, and he's giving him advice and he does this to him. Maybe you should sometimes. <laughs> so, yeah, but he's, he's Robbie's always been a good guy. So yeah, because I think Netflix only chooses what like five specials a year, or what is that, five six? It used to be one a month. It used to be one a month. Oh yeah, yeah, because they're coming out like, so like twelve to six. I don't know. Don't yeah. worry about Netflix, bro. Worry about Hulu, <laughs> Amazon. You got the plug? Yeah. I did. I. You know what's funny? I was supposed to do H. Pat Buckles. You know Pat Buckles? If you're with WME, they should get you a Oh, 100%. You're, you're, you know yeah. Pat Buckles? Yes. Pat Buckles had me, uh, was going to fly me out to go do the HBO Latino thing. In HBO, San Antonio? What is it called? HBO. Latino Laugh it's, Festival? Yeah, something, something, like, something for HBO. Uh, so I was going to go do HBO. I was going to do HBO, and then my friends died. So the day they're filming, I I went to the funeral instead. No, it was the Pat Buckles. It, it was a the Ha Festival. The Ha Festival in San Antonio. In San Antonio. So yeah. what happened to that show anyway? Did it air? Yeah, it's on it's on HBO. Oh wow! It's not. The, I think it is. I don't know. Either that or Showtime. Right? It's one of those, but but yeah. You're young, bro. There'll be more comedy shows. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that young, bro. I'm only 10 years younger than you. They'll come, bro. They'll come. If you build it, they'll come. How old is he? 49, bro. He's 49? Yeah. You're not 49? No, man. I'm going to do that. Well, Asia Rizzo just look beat up. <laughs> no. I worry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's not 49? You're 52. 55. 
fi- no, you're not more than 55. <laughs> you're fucking 60? Shut the fuck up. This fool's 60? This fool's I started with uh, Rodney Dangerfield, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're really 60? No, you're not. There's no way he's 60. <laughs> he still dresses like a six year old. <laughs> he's got a onesie on. <laughs> no, no, no. That's where it's right at. Right there, look. What did I say? What up? He began stand up in 1994. What does it say? Hold Wikipedia, dude. That's where you find out where the world is flat. <laughs> All facts. It doesn't even say. It doesn't say your it age, does bro. does say right there, right? He says early life and education. Felipe Suarez was born in Sinaloa, Mexico. He lived on his mother's family's ranch in Sinaloa. Who wrote this? Did she write that? I don't know who wrote that. <laughs> There's you no way Felipe anonymously in a. If in Felipe a wrote this, it'd right? be like Felipe was born a eh? <laughs> in Sinaloa, Mexico, a. Eh? <laughs> And then I said, what's up, fool, to my mother? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> but for real, how old are you? Right there. There's not there, bro. You know it's what I mean? You're always his, trying to store identities. It's out. His, <laughs> he's, he's, he's racking up information. They even spelled Lisa's name wrong. It says, yeah, it says years active, like you're a fucking oh, cholo. <laughs> this fool's active since 94, fool. Spouse, Lisa. You weren't married to that one? <coughs> Who put this together? Aliso Man, Village, homie. From from Is your real name Felipe? <laughs> Felipe de Jesus. <laughs> Felipe de Jesus. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. How'd you guys meet? At the Wild Coyotes, bro. I walked in there one day and the fool threw me on stage. Wow. And you guys been like Batman Robin since, huh? <laughs> yeah. But more like <laughs> Batman and Ruben, bro. Yeah, Batman I don't know about Robin, dude. Batman I don't, I don't have a Ruben. green suit or nothing. But that's how it happened. I mean, the first day I met him, and he's all, and uh, he's all, how do you know Willie? I'm like, I don't know Willie, dude. <laughs> I would just said, tell him to throw you up, dog. There used to be another guy that used to hang around with us, but he, now he sells merch for uh, another comedian. But um, he used to work with uh, Ivan. You know Ivan? No. He works with Gabriel Iglesias. Oh, I do know Ivan. Fat yeah. food, like a fat Russian guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, that guy, we, him and I, we used to work together at Yoshinoya. Ivan? Yeah, we used to make fucking chicken teriyaki, bro, and fucking beef bowls, spit on them and shit. I love Yoshinoya. <laughs> That's why. Bro, I used to fuck, bro, I used to fucking take all that shit home, bro. With the spit? To, no, the beef bowls, bro. Oh. <laughs> I would make fucking teriyaki burrito at home. Oh, bro. You see that oh. thick-ass tortilla so it doesn't break it Dude, down. Dude, I, I would get the, I would, I would go home. Or re- with two f- five bowls, bro, and microwave them, and then cut up the chicken teriyaki with the beef and with the white rice, and make a fat ass burrito, dog. <laughs> That's probably just like the first fusion burrito right there, huh? Were you ever healthy? <laughs> Never, bro. <laughs> Look at Jack Lalanne over here. <laughs> no, because he's making me so hungry, bro. Like <laughs> you should be like a food critic, bro. Like the way you said, you, I want to go have a teriyaki burrito right now. You oh, still cook fuck food yeah. or what? Hell yeah. I yeah, cook, this fucking cook pretty fucking good, dude. You cook? Maron, bro. Yeah? Yeah. Is that true, Lisa? Is he cooking? I know how to make vegan food now. Like good vegan food. Like, oh, you're, like a, how, you're legit vegan. I know how to make um, your, um Leban- Lebanese food vegan, bro. Lebanese vegan? Yeah, man. How does he do that? You just don't, you, you don't use impossible meat instead of ground beef. Oh. Uh. All right. <laughs> I don't know Chicken I wazir, bro. <laughs> <coughs> San Kudo chicken, dude. Fuck San Kudo <laughs> chicken. You cook food or what? I cook. What do you like? Do you like Mexican shit or the or uh, Armenian shit? Seems uh-huh. like your dad even eat Armenian food. Asian dude. shit. Oh, okay. I like going to I like going to HK Market, Hong Kong Market, and downtown, and getting a bunch of Asian shit. The baklava gancito, bro. <laughs> baklava gancito, that's hilarious. That sounds so good. You Instead of a duck, it's a gancito. it's a hawk. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> a little ala. You look like a stir fry, dude. Gancito, man. I, I remember I put that in the freezer. Oh, it was the best. His uncle name is um, Juan Kebab, bro. Juan Kebab. <laughs> it's that cabron. So stupid. <laughs> Chichi kebab, eh? Chichi? No, chichi. Do you, you have cousins that are Mexican, though? I have cousins that are Mexican. I do. Are they all, like, dirty and shit? Like, <laughs> sucios? Like, my cousins, bro? My cousin, Victor, no. You know my cousin. He used to work at my the hall as a waiter. My cousin's in the dirt, bro. He's an engineer. <laughs> Is he co- bald? He's bald now, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, there, yeah, that guy. Is. 
That's my boy. That's my buddy Ara. Oh, that was your cousin. Oh, shit, that's my cousin. No, we do, we do, we cook, we cook. So we made a bunch of stuff, bro. I cook, bro. Not good stuff, but like. I, hey, bro, how fucked up were you and Rene Garcia when you guys were doing that San Diego show, bro? Which show? Which, which show? During, before, during the pandemic. Oh, so fucked up. <laughs> We were we were up and we were like we were going through all the homies' r- stories. Oh man! Even that we were all high, and he goes, hey, let's, "Let's watch Rene Garcia's thing again." <laughs> <laughs> and that's what you get. Dude. You were ironing your shirt. I was ironing ready for the show at the uh, out the, at the fucking the, uh, Vegas LA Comedy Club. Oh, no, no, San Diego. San Diego show. It was at no. You're right. It was, it was, the, Vegas. It was Vegas. It was Vegas. It was Vegas. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Vegas. Oh, definitely fucked up. Vegas. <laughs> That just beers and alcohol and shit. Alcohol, shrooms. But that was funny because uh, that was before the pandemic because Rene had just gotten off a cruise ship and he was doing shows with you. Oh yeah, Rene. Was pretty fucked up, man. Do some Rene Garcia, bro. Dick. <laughs> what, what did he tell that one for one time? All jealous about his hair. He was funny, dude. I don't remember though. I don't really know how to do his voice though. <laughs> but, uh, he doesn't age, man. He's he's like he's up there too. He's like. 50. We still don't know how old you are. <laughs> he has, he has a, he's a grandfather, right? He's a grandfather, dude. What? That no. fool? No. He's a father, kind of. I, <laughs> I always thought that he was a, a Puerto Rican, bro. He parties with his I son. I thought he was Indian originally. <laughs> Rene parties with his son. They go to rapes together. That's fucking weird, bro. I told Rene, you should go out there with a security t-shirt on, <laughs> at least. <laughs> he's too yeah, old. I never want to party I think with if you're dad. 50, you shouldn't be at a rave, right? If it still works for you, fool, you know? Would you go to a rave? I if I was into that shit, but I'm not. We, we have a friend named Dioro, and he, he, he does EDM parties, and he always invites us. Dioro, the DJ? Yeah. The, yeah. Friend of mine. Oh, my God. I love him. Yeah. yeah that, that should be Renee's favorite song. We're doing a show together. Him and I in San Antonio. I love Dioro, dude. Dioro. This is fool a, said it like, I have a friend, like Dioro. He's like, been on the pod, dude. He's been on the podcast, the best, bro. Bro, we were, uh, we were fucking at the airport. Hey, I want to go. And then he goes, he goes, um, hey, Felipe, I'm a big fan. All right. And then um, he fucking invited us all. He invited all of us to go upstairs to the VIP lounge with him. Yeah, the United Lounge. United oh, Lounge. And we were oh, fucking Chicago. pigging out. No, in right, LAX. LAX. Oh, LAX. Yeah, he's a real nice guy. He's cool, bro. He killed it um, yeah, yeah. That in bad, Mexico dude. City. Is he Mexican? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and that's dope, dude. And also, man, um, May 11, I'm doing Netflix, the joke. It's called the Felipe. May 9th. May 9th. <laughs> I'm doing Netflix, the joke. Felipe Spars, the side show. I'm going to have carnival acts and comedians. And um, the, the DJ of the night is going to be Yuki. Hey, can can I get a spot or what? <laughs> My show's May 10 and 11. You're a carnival act? I'm a carnival act. I do magic. I make the audience disappear. <laughs> I Me, mean, I make them weep, bro. <laughs> I make them weep. Use some Jay London, bro, real quick. We we're doing it earlier. Oh yeah, let's do well, Jay London. Uh, are you going to the valley? <laughs> uh, I never met my uh, my stepfather. I never met my real father. I have a new ladder. I never. I, I, my, I have a new ladder. I never met my step ladder. Yeah. Do you think female fish badass. suffer from vaginal dryness? <laughs> it's another badass joke that he has. I'm just blanking oh, wait, on that. Waitress, pool. can I get a round of applause? <laughs> I went out. I went out. I went out with a weather woman. She talked up a storm. No. <laughs> when I was growing up, my parents had an, uh, an Olympic sized swimming pool. I went swimming every four years. <laughs> Thank you. You know what burns matches. <laughs> Dude, that fool's Jay gold, London, bro. bro. I remember when I first met him at the Ha. Thank I God just, for Last Comic Standing, though. I mean, I fuck. thought he was homeless, bro. I thought he was homeless. Like, who's this fucking weird guy, you know? But he's so talented, man. He was just a character. He would hide behind a curtain. He'd always do this, like a like a. Shadow he's a boxer, box. dude. Oh, was he's he been really? on the pod too? Hell yeah! Oh dog. no way! Did not know that. He looks like like I, Archie I think, Moore. He looks like if Slash <laughs> just got slashed. Yeah. <laughs> Got mugged, eh? yeah. yeah. Well, he uh, told us a story about getting mugged in New York. Like, really mugged. They beat you up and everything. Sayonara. <laughs> that was a good voice. Thank you. 
So when you guys were coming up, I never heard of an Armenian Mexican. <laughs> it sounds like an anomaly, my friend. When you guys were coming up, what was your one of your favorite comedy clubs to work at? <laughs> Wild Coyotes, eh? <laughs> yeah. Did you guys do the Ice House? Ice House, fool. Ice the house? Ice House was a shit, bro. The the ice house, that bro. shit would run. Yeah. If you had a good set, fuck. It's like, dude, it was like it was, wild, dude. Yeah, I still, I still watch some of your clips from back there. They're still on YouTube when you were wearing your te Telemundo shirt. It was hard <laughs> for people to bomb at the Ice House. And if you bombed at the Ice House, you, you suck. fucking suck. The Ice House, bro, was good, bro. Because, you know, sometimes they'll put out food for the employees and I'll eat it all, bro. All of it. I would go there, put my hand, and grab a meatball in my hand, bro. Eat it, bro. <laughs> I, I did it before too, but I forgot they had toothpicks. Yeah. <laughs> I was fucking it's, for the, it's, it's for the employees. Hey, I work tonight. <laughs> yeah. I'm part of you. You're part of me. <laughs> We're together. The ice out, bro, thunderous loud, bro. Like, Dude. like this. <sighs> like, I couldn't even believe what was happening. In Have there. you been to like, it lately? Yeah, probably about uh, three months ago. Why? What's up? Like like they stopped like me, it. bro. Who are you? <laughs> Well, it's all like security up yeah. now. You can't bro, even get past the front door, dude. And the, they, the main room only holds like 130 people now. It Small. Used to hold it's like per they got the perfect security guard to work in the front, bro. This bitch never heard of no one. Dude. <laughs> and she'll hear your drink tickets. <laughs> it looks badass in there too, all like dark. And I like the like the, the whole old school alleyway and all that. It, I think it's it's too nice. I think a comedy club needs to be a little. I think we need change, Jack Jr. That's the problem. There's no change. I mean, can, can I have some change? There's a balance between like, remember the, do you remember the comedy union? Balance. Yeah. Like oh, the gold plot is the old ha, remember the old ha? Grimy. That's too grimy. I'm talking about. But isn't the ha ha cafe used to have comedy outside too? And we have it on the patio. We saw, we have I remember shows. that shit, dog. Yeah. You never been to the new club? What are you talking about? No, uh, back in the day, there was a patio outside. Yeah. The, well, there wasn't a comedy club outside. No, you? but he did a show outside a couple times. No, never. Yeah, yeah. bro. I'm How, not where? fucking with you, dude. In the street, yeah, two right there, because right there where the cars are, where the parking. The parking. He the extended back. it. Yeah. Yeah, but it was a patio to eat and drink, not to perform. Yeah, yeah, yeah but we did a like, show. You did? Yeah. yeah. I don't remember that. It was packed. You were at school. It was like eight people. No, it was it was pretty good. No way, really. See, wait. I remember. I remember uh, that's crazy. Man. Amnesia. What a terrible disease. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say before I said it. Oh, man. You think you, uh, if somebody were like, you think if somebody were to ask somebody who's a podcaster, somebody were to ask them, do you consider yourself a better podcaster or stand up comedian? Me, I'm a, I'm a horrible podcaster. I don't know what I'm doing up here, cutting off the guest conversation. <laughs> Unexpected laughter. <laughs> Sometimes, bro, I go through the video and I go, wait, well, this guy has something meaningful to say. <laughs> and you're like, hey, and then what I, you ever think and about? Then what's then a tacos. fool? <laughs> then I blurted out marshmallows out of nowhere. But you know what, dude? When the shit's too like um, quiet, it just sounds almost scripted, bro. How about like, we have Paul Jesus crying here, bro? Paul's you know one more thing I'm gonna tell you. Paul's Why crying? don't you guys have Kleenex? He was crying. I'm he was sorry, talking, Paul. He came here, bro. There's no Kleenex. First of all, shout out to the instigators, they eh? Willie Barsana. <laughs> they be toppling podcasts. <laughs> Willie Barsana <laughs> was on George Lopez show. What a And uh, he was talking about, uh, yeah, hey, hey, hey. you know that eye, bro. Like he was, he was doing it on the floor for his contact. Hey, Ping. do some Willie, bro. What's up, bro? Hey, bro. Where'd you get that wig, dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh, why am I scared? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but you know how he so looks anyway, at you yeah, that yeah. death stare. So then I, uh, hey, shit went bro. down between um, George and Willie. They were talking about jo Paul, right? So then Paul finds out about it, and he walks up to um, uh, Willie Barsana. Hey, man, what happened? And then he goes, I want to set the record straight. So he came into our podcast, and he was half a heart. Yeah, he came, uh, I saw him at the Fox Theater. And you tell the Esparzas <laughs> that I want to do the podcast and set the record straight. <coughs> so what yeah. happened, though? <laughs> well, I guess fucking, uh, there was a story on uh, George Lopez podcast where uh, Paul allegedly mistreated but it, George. But uh. it, it was like, um, you know, like, when you, like you were to get off on stage, but you always been a fan of me. Uh -huh. And you get off on stage and you, you kill, right? You know, everybody knows you killed, but I walk up to you and tell you. What happened up there, bro? You lost him, huh? 
Oh, so like a Jeff Garcia. <laughs> yeah. Because I guess in one, <laughs> one, in, one instance, that fool would have been dog. Jeff would be like, let me tell you hey, what you did the rock, dog. Hey, dog, you fucking suck, dog. What the fuck is up there? I'm fucking stealing that one, fucking. <laughs> um, so uh, Paul Rodriguez told uh, George that he's going to bring him on stage at the comedy store. <laughs> Keep on laughing, dog. I'm telling you, fucker, he's going to do it again, bro. <laughs> um, but uh, hey, so, you're pretty good, dude. Give me an agent. How good am I? <laughs> um, so he's fucking. Steve Trevino, bro. Hey, bro, we don't say those jokes here, bro. <laughs> calmate, calmate. George Perez. George Perez, bro. Um, What's up, my so, uh, boy? Real quick, yeah, just funny, to... Right? He's trying to suck his tongue, his tooth at you. <laughs> give, me the, give me the George. <laughs> um, so Paul Rodriguez said he's going to bring him on stage, and he brought him on stage, and he just gave him his jacket, and the homeboy didn't put him on stage. And on the other one, I guess... George was away for a little while and he sees him in front of a bunch of people. He's like, Hey, I thought you died. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Man, fuck that motherfucker, man. <laughs> what the hell? But you know, so much not drama. to rehash. You Why know. is there so much drama with Latino comedians? Well, if there's no drama, there's no show, my friend. Come on. What is it called? The dramatic what? arts? What? There can only be one, bro. <laughs> Latino comedy, bro, is like the dark side of the forest, bro. Latino comedy should go on Club Shay Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to spill the I beans. wouldn't even know what to ask all these players out here. You know what I'm saying? How, how, so how y'all make enchiladas? <laughs> like if there's something you yeah, can I confess or so put some confess. dirty laundry out there. First of all, bro, you okay, can't be a Latino comedian here. and go up on a show like that and talk, talk shit about other comedians that we all have to Google and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. That's what makes it more For of an inner dog, thing, you like, know? <laughs> like, took it out the sandbox. See, people be like that, man. The people, the comics will be man. The first show where I gotta pause to look for a comic. You gotta put a picture when Corey Hulk was talking shit. We heard of these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. When Cat Williams talked shit, we heard of these motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you can't have a Latino comedian talk about a bunch of people no one ever heard of, bro. It's not like a maniac. <laughs> They look at him and go, man, he made it, and he's still talking shit about the homies. <laughs> <laughs> we never heard of fucking Liam's. <coughs> but that's never, how you keep shit alive, though. Is talking. We shit, never heard though. of no fucking, you know, guitar comic from Riverside Grind. Uh, the West Covina Bandit. Uh huh. Oh, the West Covina bad boy. So if, uh, if you're gonna like talk yeah. shit about comics, you, it has to be about Latino comics. It has to be in the moment, bro. Like you're at a comedy club, and you're on stage, and you see them like somebody come in. You start roasting them immediately when they yeah. come in. But all that yelling from the stage, it ain't gonna work like that, dog. Yeah, it has yeah. to be like, like when Paul Rodriguez roasted one time another comic. As soon as he got off the stage, hey, if you're gonna talk about balls, make sure you have them. You know that's funny. Oh. <laughs> or like when he roasted Ty Rivera, bro, and called him um, Oh, quite my. There? No, but uh, Ty Rivera is just uh, very fun to watch on the online. <laughs> Dude, that fool is letting it loose, bro. Man. Like, so every time I get every time I get bored, I'm, like, I'm gonna watch a Kareel. because <laughs> he talks about comics. Like he literally talks about comics. That I have no know what you're talking about. Like, like what you said. Ty Rivera talks about comics like this one person. I go, who, who is this person? And this is interesting. Susie Swanson from Wisconsin. He has a dog, bro. He has a oh. very nice dog, Ty Rivera, the yeah. little white dog. And um, we have a dog right now. It's Toffee. Toffee. Yeah. Oh. A rescue dog. You have a rescue dog? Or you yeah. Buy them fresh? Brought to our sponsors, <laughs> ASPCA. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did read it in the other one. No, he read the yellow part yesterday in the other one. I read, read this part. I'm like, how come you told me all late? No, I know because it's a mistake. So let me still write it. I'll do it now. All right. Okay. You can edit it out. You ever have a dog that's yellow? <laughs> you ever heard a dog go wow, wow? Dog from Ooh. rich neighborhoods, bro. Let me tell you. <laughs> dog from rich neighborhoods. When the last time you saw a comedy show and then you said, man, this motherfucker just. It's gonna just like when, when, you, when the last time you saw a comic and you felt like giving this fool might as well give him a you felt like giving that fool a little hatchet because eh? he was up there hacking to survive. Uh, I just feel like a lot of the comics right now are everyone's doing crowd work right now like crazy and it's bad crowd work and it's like one after the other after the other. Bro, you want to see bad crowd work? Watch my crowd work. Bro. <laughs> you don't do crowd. Work. I ask questions and then they ask me what they do for a living and most of the time, 
I don't know that job. I never heard of that job, and then I'm, <laughs> I'm lost. Bro, I knew. I, I, I this knew. guy said I'm a I'm a la- I'm a land surveyor, and I was like, "Fuck." George Washington. Was so you're like Mahalin, huh? <laughs> That's funny. But then I came back and I said, "Yeah, but you're that guy that pretends to he's filming a movie while I'm in traffic, huh?" <laughs> anyway, so yeah, dude, I'm not, I'm horrible crowd work because you don't want to. You don't really you, even, even with your crowd work and your, your questions. You ask us a question and then you're not listening. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good? Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> like, isn't like Alfred Robles and Martina Mini, they're like love masters now, right? They're like putting people together. They're putting people, matchmakers. The matchmakers of comedy. People are right? getting laid right now. It's good for comedy. People are getting laid. I wonder with one, this, with one comedian. Did you get one, a lot of groupies back then? Fuck no. You get some now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of guys. <laughs> hey, that one thing you did on the podcast, man. Wow. What were you saying before I cut you off? I don't remember. <laughs> Not important, bro. Groupies, fool. What's important is, bro, that hair. Bro, it's good hair, bro. You got to be proud of that. Thanks, man. But your dad had a fro, too. I've seen photos. My dad had a fro when I was younger, yeah. My pulls dad. it back and puts it in a ponytail? Yeah, I pulled it back and put it in a ponytail. Do your dad ever, like, cut off the, sh- the comedy show and just start singing one of his badass songs? All the time, bro. After every night. He goes, no more comedy show. Sing, sing, sing. <laughs> hey, tell us again what your dad told that comedy club that opened up next door. He, my dad walked over to the comedy chateau, chateau and he goes, why did you open a club across the street from mine? I would have sold you mine. <laughs> <laughs> After the guy finished all this work and did all this thing, that's the first thing my dad said. <laughs> are they still around or are they hanging out by the thread? I, from what I hear, it's just a it's bunch of... Open mic. How is your mom, bro? How is badass Terry, bro? My mom says hi, by the way. I, I talked to her Tell today. Her I, said, I said, I'm coming to do What's Up Fools podcast. <coughs> Everybody, go, where, where is the Haha ha Cafe located? 4712 Lancashire Boulevard, Toluca Lake. North hey, Hollywood. man, people been selling that shit out, huh? Yeah, man. I saw Ken Flores. I fool at a show at 1 in the morning. We give the best Damn. door deals, bro. <laughs> I got you. You got to come do a spot, fool. What know. do they hold? One fifty-five. Shut up! Yeah, I remember that shit was like less than. It that. was like eighty-six. What the fuck? Dude. Who's that? Yeah, but the new club is cool, dude. <laughs> that's Robert. That's Bob Shoe. Martin Rizzo. Zapata. Who are these fools right there, yeah, man? Want to do something else besides comedy? Let me see the next one. Me. Who's that over there? Go to the next one. Right next to the next one. The one with the N, the green jacket. No. no that, oh shit That's Clowns That's Concrete Right here Nick Guerra and shit Concrete friends. He's doing April 20 bro Watch out Willie might be at that show <laughs> <laughs> Tell you gonna sneak away Huh dog I'm shaking bro We're gonna make you shake I'm some on, more I'm coming up I'm on uh, I'm at the ha, The August No April April 30th What's I'm at the, Oxnard too Oxnard, the other one The other one over there The other one That fool that, that Joe Wong Is really funny bro You know Joe Wong very funny. Never yeah, heard him, but I'm sure he's funny. Even he's done that flyer. Oh, that <laughs> right, tell them, go keep going. So More. Right. Willie Simon just got past the More. comedy store. Another one, right at. Next. It's the same thing over Next. and over. Oh yeah, same okay. Thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <"Why?" laughs> I'm like, why is it's Bob? Like, sh-? I'm like, we didn't book Robert Zapata that many times. Yes, you <laughs> did. Dude. That person Bloomer right there on that show. <laughs> That's a plumita. That's a pluma. And that's me right there, bro. At, at, at Barbizon's, eh? It's a guy from Oasis on the bottom, huh? That's me with um. That's Leo. That's me with long hair, bro. Out there doing that that drug <coughs> that everybody does. What's it called? Adrenochrome. Ozempic. What's it called? Oh, Ozempic. Yeah, that's a Ozempic, bro. Ozempic, it's bro. skinny drug, dog. Yeah. Have you tried that, bro, to lose weight? No, I want to though. I, there's, there might be side effects A lot of fools are fucking burning with that shit right now I want now, to be dude. skinny man That's my dream Yeah fool I want to be but I want to be an extra large You're not extra large now? You're I'm two, snug I'm two extra XL. large 2X? Huh? 2XL two two tight Fuck I'm a size 40 I'm 2X loose right now bro yeah. Weighs 42 How much you weigh? 287 pounds So do I I swear <laughs> I'm I'm like 6 foot No he's 6'1 six six one? One, Yeah yeah. Where'd you go? Can you beat it? 
Uh, last time I weighed myself, I was like 290, I think. There's a picture of you at the hall, bro, where you're skinny. And, and it's funny, I'll man. give my dad. And funny, and 1995. I, and funny, in that photo, I thought I was fat. <laughs> no, you weren't 95? Fat. He had short hair. You had short hair like me. I think it was 98, Playboy. No, I said 95 in the picture. What's up, fool, man? Um, thank you, everybody who showed up to the show in Monterey, California. Also in, um, where were the Santa Barbara? Man, you guys just left, huh? Yeah, we bounced, dude. This homeboy had to go home. Something's wrong with his tooth. On the camera at 4 I was like, Something was wrong with Martin Rizzo's tooth. She went to CVS and then. Martin Rizzo's went. tooth? No way. I was hurting him. So was he cavity? He's fucking six years old. <laughs> he, he fucking butt, bit into a jawbreaker and chipped it, and oh. then he got more. He really? didn't take care of it, bro. He didn't take care of that shit ASAP. That'll kill you. It'll infect your teeth. It will kill you. But that's what I like brushing his teeth, but I've never seen him shower or brush his teeth. <laughs> you sure it's like, real? Like backpack, same underwear, dog. You can kind of tell, dude. You know what I mean? Like, you get up close, he's more like a baby. <laughs> like a baby that slept for too long, bro. You share a room with Riz on the, ro- the road? No? <laughs> I can see that. You share with comics, still? I share comics with Rizzo. I'm not on that What's level the yet. most comics you've had in one room? <laughs> Four. Four, four I've done that before. Two in each bed. Ooh. Hell yeah. Huh. Sleep that way, dog. <laughs> Recently in Fresno, I had my DJ, <laughs> I had my DJ, uh, my camera guy, and then two openers. Damn. Cool that? Is, is that live, dog? <laughs> What's <laughs> up, fool? You gotta be cool with it. You gotta have the budget. <laughs> What's your Instagram, bro? They could know. Jack Jr. Comic. Um, I'm actually gonna be headlining the Ontario Improv May 1st and Oxnard. May 24th. Hell yeah, dude. Get those tickets, man. Up, Come homie. see me. Felipe Esparza will not be there. I won't be there, man. But he won't, but he'll be there. I'll give you a shot. I'm going to give a hologram of him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to book I'm gonna book a comic that does his jokes. <laughs> yeah, I did my dates. Don't try to run. Don't try to run. 